Assignments and subletting. This is pretty straightforward. This is where you have a unit and you can't be there anymore. So you want to assign it to somebody else. That's called a sublet. You can also reassign a tenancy agreement. So one person, maybe they bought themselves a house and they don't need to rent anymore, but they want to give that unit to somebody else in their family who needs it. So then they would change the name from the one person to another person. So tenants are generally permitted to assign and sublet. Uh, this is done with consent from the landlord. The landlord will usually provide consent. They're, if they allow this, they're not losing out on rent because if they don't allow it, then the unit's going to be abandoned or vacated and then they can't collect any rent. So that doesn't help them much. Uh, the tenancy agreement needs to have six months or more remaining and it also needs to be a fixed tenancy. Those are the stipulations for assignment and subletting that there has to be a significant amount of time left. It has to be usually pretty much near the start or middle of the tenancy. If it's towards the end, you're not going to get a sublet or an assignment because it's just too late. It's too late to find somebody new. The landlord must have excellent reasons for not giving their consent to sublet, and that's included in the Residential Tenancy Act.